Good afternoon and welcome to another webinar. My name is Dr. Ken Stewart and I'll be your presenter for today. During this webinar, if you have any questions, you can jot them down. And at the end of this webinar, if you have any questions, you could um, type it in in the little box to your right and um, I'll be able to see it and answer the questions soon after. However, in the event that you may have questions during the week or later on, don't stress. Um, after the presentation, I will email you a link of um, this webinar and you could then respond back to me by sending me your questions. All right, um, so um, you could have two options of sending me questions. You can send me questions after the presentation or send me questions via email once this webinar is finished. All right, without any further ado, I want to start off this webinar. As you can see, today's topic is entitled Active Charcoal. So, let's jump right in. You may have come across a commercial promoting the benefits of charcoal, and you probably asked yourself, is it the charcoal I use to barbecue? Well, look no further, because for today's webinar, we'll be asking three basic questions. And they are, what is activated charcoal? How does it work? And what are the top uses for activated charcoal? So what is activated charcoal? Activated charcoal is a fine black powder. It is made when charcoal is heated to a, to a high temperature and then activated. It's activated through oxidi oxidizing gas or another chemical. This procedure increases its surface area creating pores that are able to absorb toxins and other substances. Please don't get it confused with charcoal used for barbecuing. Charcoal briquettes are created using the same process of activated charcoal with the exception of one step. And that step is adding oxygen thus creating its porosity and surface area. An important point to note is that charcoal briquettes have additional additives that makes it toxic to humans. It can, it can contain agricultural waste and dry, dry biomass. It should not be ingested or used on your skin. So you want to use charcoal briquettes to barbecue. How does activated charcoal work? Activated charcoal works by trapping toxins and chemicals in its millions of tiny pores. The porous surface of, acti of activated charcoal has a negative electric charge that causes positive charged toxins and gas to bond to it. Don't forget, whenever you take activated charcoal, it is imperative that you drink 12 to 16 glasses of water per day. Activated charcoal can cause dehydration if adequate amounts of water are not consumed in tandem. This helps to flush out the toxins quickly and prevents constipation experienced by some individuals. In regards to dosage, most adolescents and adults should ingest between 50 and 100 grams a day. However, I would highly recommend following up with your medical provider as it relates to charcoal dosage. 
Benefits. What are the benefits of activated charcoal? Well, I'm going to highlight a couple benefits. Activated charcoal has anti-aging properties by absorbing the toxins in the, in the skin and preventing cellular damage to kidney and liver or kidneys and liver. Activated charcoal helps to prevent premature aging. Activated charcoal cleans wounds and reduces itching because it is antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. It reduces the pain and swelling of bites and stings. When it is applied topically, its porous properties allow it to absorb toxins from below the skin's surface. Activated charcoal also prevents and alleviates prevents bloating and alleviates gas by absorbing the bacteria in the intestines and can relieve bloating, discomfort, and flatulence. So, activated charcoal absorbs. It absorbs toxins. It absorbs. And that's very important. And then, activated charcoal serves as a digestive cleaner by promoting a healthy digestive tract by removing toxins that cause allergic reactions and poor immune system function. This helps to reduce joint pain, increase energy, and increase mental function. Just a word about activated charcoal. Just a word of caution. And the topic of activated charcoal serving as a teeth whitener, be advised that yes, the activated charcoal can help with whitening your teeth. However, that same activated charcoal can wear down your enamel. Enamel erosion can cause symptoms such as increased sensitivity to taste, textures, and temperature, cracks and chips, discoloration, and over time it can lead to tooth decay. But also, charcoal is beneficial to your hair. I want to give you four reasons why. It's a powerful detoxifier. It pumps up the volume of your hair. It soothes the scalp. And it's good for all textures. So now, I welcome any questions you may have on this topic. So I'm going to give you probably 15 seconds or 10 seconds to jot down or type your question so that I can try to answer it right now. All right, well, one question that I got, and it reads, how does charcoal affect my hair? How, how does it help? All right, in terms of activated charcoal, it is known as a magnet, which attracts and then removes impurities from your hair and scalp. Activated charcoal absorbs up to 1,000 times its weight in impurities. It is also great post-swimming to get rid of any or all chlorine? And, and that's a good question. But, but let me take it a step further. It also helps with the volume I mentioned before. If you're carrying around enough dirt and oil, your hair will start to sag and regular shampooing may not, may not be getting it all out. In fact, hair gained roughly 4% of its own weight and buildup from scalp, oils, pollution, and dry shampoo. Regular shampoos remove surface dirt, but activated charcoal will pull out even more. I mentioned it soothes the scalp. Activated charcoal soothes itchy, irritated, and flaky scalps, 
and hydrates the scalp to prevent dryness. And lastly, I mentioned it's good for all hair textures. Most charcoal shampoos or treatments can be used on any hair type without drying out strands or messing with color. For best results, you might find that you only need to use charcoal shampoo once a week or maybe even every other week depending on your hair type and the amount of styling products you use. So with that being said, I want to end this webinar on the topic of activated charcoal and if you have any questions feel free to send me an email and I'll respond back to you as soon as possible. And thank you for taking the time to view this webinar. Um, next week we'll be starting a new uh, webinar and I hope to connect with you then. Take care and don't forget to check out our YouTube channel entitled Epic Health Education. Stay tuned and have a great day and we will connect next week.